Easy people. Whew. Just jumping on quick. Just got back from the game. Manchester City nil. Southampton nil at the Etihad Stadium. Um, well, where do we start with this one? I think every man and his dog thought that City was going to blow Southampton away. Um, starting lineup, um, Pep put out, looked decent enough. Um, there was no one really, any really panic station uh, actions in there for, for anyone in the stadium to think we were going to struggle. And then um, the game started. Look, um, played really well today. I was impressed with Southampton. I thought the way they set up with a 4 2 2 2 really caused us problems. I thought the two top men pushing onto our centre backs, not allowing us to play out from the back, caused us issues. Um, I thought they did a really good job. I thought, I thought uh, um, their manager set them up really well. And, and I'm going to be honest with you. Um, if I'm a Southampton fan tonight coming out the Etihad, I'm disappointed I'm not getting three points because they had the penalty shout, which I've only seen in, in, in bits of grainy clips. I haven't seen it proper, but could have gone either way. And they were dangerous. Southampton were dangerous. There was a couple of times they caught us on the break and they made the wrong decisions late on. Another day, they're in and they score. Um, but we weren't at the races. We weren't at the races at all. It was a bad day for us today. I felt like the passing was slow and laboured. I felt like Fernandinho was showing his age today. He looked every single bit his age. I thought he gave the ball away sloppily. I thought Gundogan gave the ball away a lot of times. Kyle Walker was guilty of it. Ruben Diaz was guilty of it. The amount of times we gave the ball away within like 30 yards of our goal uh, against a, any of the top sides, we're getting punished for that. 100% we're getting punished for it. I just thought, you know, first half, dire. You know what I mean? We just looked slow, laboured. People wasn't getting into the game. Uh, Jesus wasn't getting into the game. Sterling, I know we swapped him over at half time. Still nothing happened. It wasn't until really he brought on De Bruyne, um, Mares, and Foden. Then we looked dangerous. You know what I mean? We pinned them back. Um, obviously, we had the goal that was disallowed for offside. I'll have a look at that later on. Um, I thought we'd snatched it. I thought, you know what, we, we, we've, we've mugged them here. You know what I mean? We've, we, we, we've mugged them. We, we've done them 1 0 late on. Um, I thought Jack Grealish played well. I'll be honest, I thought Jack played well. Um, but it just wasn't wasn't our day today, you know what I mean? It just wasn't our day. Sometimes watching City the last few years, you get that feeling, you know, when things just don't seem to be ticking. Even when De Bruyne came on, he was trying things. It wasn't coming off. I think he broke past to Sterling. Sterling miscontrolled it. Um, Cancelo had a couple of wild efforts from long range that were just like flying right in the top of the of the stand. Um, Foden was trying his best, but he was, you know, he, he looks unfit to me. But we've got problems because we've got a tough month coming up. We've got some big, big games coming up. I know we've got Wickham on Tuesday and he'll probably field some young kids in that. You know what I mean? But I'm talking Chelsea away. I'm talking Liverpool. I'm talking Paris Saint-Germain. And I'm talking few injuries are creeping in now. You know what I mean? We've got Zinchenko injured, Rodri's injured, Laporte's injured, Stones is injured. You know, it's all right Pep coming out saying, oh, they had a week's rest and all that. Like, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. They're Southampton. We're Manchester City. And the quality you've got in your squad, Pep, should have been enough to beat them. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not buying that off him at all. At the end of the day, the only positive I can take from it is... We didn't come away from the game with nothing. We got a point. Sometimes, in the long run, these little points, um, they end up precious, you know what I mean? Um, we wasn't at the races and we got a point, you know what I mean? There'll be other teams that 
play each other where one team won't be at the races and they'll get beat. Um, so that that's my only my only thing I'm clinging on to, I'll be honest with you, you know what I mean? Um, atmosphere wise, brilliant today. The blues were spot on, you know what I mean? The rallying call was there from the manager, apparently. Um, anyway, it, it, you know, it is what it is. You know, we, 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 the fans did their job today. The players didn't do their job. Um, but yeah, we've got some big games coming up. Um, Kai Kai has arrived in from Fluminese. I've seen some pictures of him training with the first team. Whether he's going to get involved maybe against Wickham, that'd be ideal for me. I think, you know, bring him in. I don't know. The lap's now fit, so we've got an, an extra striker option. I know he's not ideal. He's not, I know he's not the big name the fans want, but he's he, he's a striker and he's and he's fit. Um, but listen, we're losing ground. We're losing ground on teams. We lost against Tottenham, three points. We've drawn at home against Southampton, two points. We're losing ground, you know what I mean? We need to make sure now that we bounce back from this and put a real statement of intent in. We're playing some top teams in the next few weeks and we need to make sure we pick up points. You know what I mean? We need to make sure we're at the races. Um, I reckon the early games against Norwich and Arsenal uh, have papered over a lot of the cracks with the striker. Do you know what I mean? Because um, a lot of people will be like, oh, you know, we're not doing too bad. With and, and that's great. We're not doing too bad. But there was, I did say on the big six, there was going to be games where we need an out-and-out -out machine up front. And today was one of them. I think we had one shot. You know what I mean? One shot. And against the team that was setting up like they set up, they stopped us from creating a lot. And um, other teams will get onto that. Other teams will get onto that. And they'll be like, you know what? This is how we set up against City. It frustrates them. Do you know what I mean? And um, Southampton definitely did frustrate us. I thought Kyle Walker-Peters, at left back for them, was brilliant today. I think he's a good little player in, good little left back. There's a shortage of left backs about, and he's a good one. Um. I just thought the whole Southampton team just, just seemed well organised and drilled. So hats off to Southampton, hats off to the manager, uh, hats off to the Man City fans today for um, turning up and shouting shouting for the team. But the team let us down. Pep, your selection let us down. So anyway, we move, we move on. Next game's Wickham on Tuesday. Um, try not to be too disappointed. We've been here before. There's a few bumps in the road. Um, in every season, there's going to be some more, let me tell you. Um, and we've just got to move on. But he's got to start getting De Bruyne, Foden and Grealish in that side regular now. He's got to get them in. You know what I mean? Fernandinho is OK for me coming off the bench or maybe starting in a League Cup. But starting a Premier League game with him today, he just looked like he was running in treacle. He just looked like he was off the pace. His, his first touch, his passing was 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 getting him into trouble. Um, you know, I'm not going to be too hard on him. We know his age and we know his limitations, but you know, Pep, you're starting him. You know what I mean? You're starting him there because Rodri's injured. So anyway, it's Saturday night. You know, it's not one of them Saturday nights where we can uh, relax, celebrate, and enjoy much of the day because we've just scraped to a point with Southampton. But look, enjoy it, um, enjoy your night, and um, I don't know if I'm going to do a preview for Wickham, it is what it is. I was going to do some Instagram lives today at the match, but the Man United fans support, um, reported me for calling them a seat nonce, so Instagram banned me lives for a week, so it is what it is. Um, but yeah, people, I'm going to go and enjoy my Saturday night best I can. You enjoy yours um, and don't be too hard on the blues and, and we'll bounce back. So big up everyone who's been messaging me this week. Um, thanks for your support. Keep liking my videos. Keep subscribing. We've got a Mank Talk next week and we've got a special on my channel with me and Saeed. Going to be talking about Man City, Man United, the noisy neighbours, things like that. How it all got started, where Saeed grew up, where I grew up, things like that. Should be a good show. So, um Big up for that. So listen, good night, everybody.
you know what I mean? Blue moon rising and all that. You know what I mean? We bounce back Tuesday against Wickham and then we go into the big ones and let's see what we can do. Respect to everyone. See you later.